Uh, my name is Mark Brett, uh, I'm the chairman for the Wallingford Car Rally. Wallingford's got a whole selection of vehicles. You've got the Model T Fords, and so the 1900s, right through to the 60s, 70s. We've got the old Who bus down the bottom there, and all the motorbikes. Um, we've got Ferraris, we've got Lamborghinis, we've got Porsche. It's just the spectrum of cars. Um, and we've got obviously a huge amount of vehicles, we've got over 300 vehicles here today. Um, 50 more than we've ever had. And that's what makes it, I think, different and I suppose one final thing is the parade. We have the parade going around the town, which is very unique. Uh, do I have a favourite? It's going to be a tough one. I suppose it's going to be the Who bus, which has got Roger Daltrey, Pete Townsend, signatories in the sun visors. Um, it was auctioned off and raised £32,000 for the Teenage Cancer Trust um, by Roger Daltrey, Pete Townsend and the Who. So the money today will go to uh, various courses within Wallingford. Uh, the Scouts are helping sell food uh, and drinks, so they're obviously going to get a donation from that. So yeah, and there's lots of other smaller charities that are benefiting as well. the prototype uh, TR2 that was built in 1953 um, basically to break the world speed record for a two litre production car which it did 125 miles an hour and it was built from the remains of TR1 and there was two of those built um, and it was a disaster so they cut the back ends off and they then put this new back end on and this was the start of the British motoring history for Triumph and it put them on the map and basically changed the whole way Triumph went about building cars. It's a very, very historic piece of work. We found this car in the, in the garden, we dug it up, but the, the, the engine and the gearbox was in the loft. We took all that apart and everything was all right. And, and this, is how we, uh, this is it today, how we found it, how we, we, we stored it. it. Took us a year to restore it and I've been driving it ever since. I, I always come to Wallingford Wallingford with it every every year, so it's my pride and joy. Yeah, it's lovely. That's why I call it Bessie. <laughs>